Very gratified, and we thank you, all of you, for uh, the support in the press that we've had. I was up in uh, Toronto last night at the invitation of uh, CTV Network uh, for two reasons. One, to uh, show the show and get the reaction of the people there, because the show in question was uh, considered by CBS to be in bad taste in general, and in particular the David Steinberg sermonette. We also had an offer from the Canadian television people to come up and produce our show if we couldn't find a place here in our United States. I'm very flattered by the offer. The events that uh, led up to today's press conferences, and this will be the, the final, uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, a press conference regarding our problems with CBS. There is a list of, uh, chronological list of the events that led up to this, so I don't particularly want to get into any of the details which have been aired pretty much by most of you in the papers regarding our problems and uh, Vicky and my feelings regarding uh, CBS and what they did with the show. I got a few notes here, but uh, primarily the reason that I think we were taken off the air any show uh, will be censored, but it should be censored at the, the lowest level, which is affiliate censorship is as close as you can get to individual flicking the switch, turning it off of the defends. We know that if we are at the hands of the affiliates, we will get a better shot that there will be at least only 15% of the affiliates who, re who reject anything that we have to say in that area. Now, one of, the, one of our biggest uh, things that we are doing is we feel that if, if, we, uh, if CBS has its way, we are off and we don't go on the air anymore and there's nothing said about it, well, that's fine. The show, or the, the money doesn't matter. It's that nobody else will come forward. There's no one in the business trying to do anything that steps out or say anything. The precedent will be set the, the, that you cannot do it. It's a no-no, so nobody will try it. And so television will, will not have the... Uh, the uh, the uh, energy to do it, and they won't have the opportunity to do it. But what, if what he has to say is progressive or a change, there is no reference. The conditioning of the people will not accept it. They consider him a radical. It's to the advantage of, uh, of the two-party system, which is not now uh, Democratic and Republican, but really uh, progressive and uh, conservative and liberal. The liberal point of view is not put onto television. It hides all issues so that the people in the Midwest or some er areas that aren't in urban areas get no reality of the actual facts, the problems of the black people, the problems of the young people, is never reflected in television. It has to be. Just because it's unpopular, it has to still be said. Prime, the prime uh, philosophy of, of our show is not to have hey. quite as much... Oh. <laughs> is not to be quite as funny as David and Chet. Uh, <laughs> Because we deal with truth. Uh, oh, that was... I, th I take that back. Why don't you go sit with him? <laughs> okay. No, no, the prime thing is to be entertaining. We were hired as a musical comedy variety show, and that's the way our show should be, spiced with thought and value. We should... Sometimes we get too heavy, and we lose some of the entertainment value, but that's through trying, and you have so many shows to do, you have five days to do them, so you'll miss once in a while. But we want to entertain first and have something of value to go along with it.